Good morning, friends, and welcome back to our Tubo Biz channel. This is uh, David. Today I'm going to fulfill a promise that I have made for a long time, and that is that we are going to check the effect of sugarcane juice on blood sugar. And today we have here with us our very good friend. Her name is Eileen, and Eileen is a type 2 diabetic. And there is a lot of talk in the sugarcane industry regarding diabetes and sugar, diabetes and sugarcane juice. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take the measurement of Eileen's blood sugar before and after she consumes sugarcane juice. And what we want to do is show you the effect on the blood sugar. And we're also going to test my blood sugar. Uh, I'm not a diabetic, but we will also show the effect on my blood sugar of consuming sugarcane juice. So I'd like to introduce you to Eileen. This is Eileen. Uh, you are a type 2 diabetic. Uh, so how long have you known that you're a diabetic? Three years. Three years? Okay. And um, I, I remember you've been hospitalized uh, two times with because of the diabetes. Uh huh. And during that time when you were hospitalized, were you consuming sugarcane juice? After that, I was uh, hospitalized, but then I think uh, I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. She. She's not used to being on camera too much, and it's very, it's very hot here. Okay, you can come back. Uh, what she was saying is that uh, when she was hospitalized twice for her diabetes, uh, she, uh, when she was hospitalized twice for her diabetes, she uh, was not uh, taking sugarcane juice at that time, and uh, so her story is basically that. Since she's been taking sugarcane juice, it has helped her so much with her condition. Now, I want to say something because not all diabetics are the same, okay? If you are a diabetic and you're watching this, we are not telling you to go out and drink tons of sugarcane juice. We are simply telling the story of Eileen and myself not being a diabetic, but the effect on our blood sugar. And this is very important. If you are a diabetic, make sure you consult your doctor before you uh, make any dietary changes, including trying this test yourself, okay? So this is very important for you to know. So uh, you've been taking sugarcane juice now for about how long? How long? Uh, three years. Okay, you've been taking sugarcane juice for about three years, and um, have you noticed any, has it helped you at all with your condition? Yes. Okay, it's helped you? Uh-huh. Okay, so uh, today, uh, this is very important, you're volunteering for this test, right? We're not forcing you to do this? Yes. Okay, okay. So, she, uh, she actually, you know, in her, in her good heart, she wanted to uh, get her story out and, you know, to tell people that how sugarcane has helped her with her uh, condition in diabetes. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go in and take her blood sugar now. Uh, this will be her, her uh, fasting blood sugar. This is the blood sugar that she will have uh, that she hasn't had anything to eat yet. This is still morning here. And then... Uh, we will have her drink the sugarcane juice and then we will take her blood sugar about 15 minutes after she consumes 12 ounces of sugarcane juice and then we'll see. And then my, my test will come later and we'll uh, do something similar to that and I might have a few surprises also uh, in that. So friends stay tuned and we're going to check Eileen's blood sugar now. Okay, Eileen, we want to ask you, are you injecting insulin? No, I'm not. I just take sugar cane juice twice a day. So you're not injecting insulin, you're taking sugar cane juice twice a day? Yes. 
Okay, and how much do you drink a day? 12 ounce, 16 ounce, how much? 12 ounce, but twice a day. Uh-huh. And you make your own, you squeeze your own, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. She's an expert squeezer, by the way. She knows how to how to juice out sugar cane well. And so, uh, you can say that the sugar cane juice has helped you in your condition? Yeah, very much. Very much? Okay, yeah. It's, it's interesting, friends, because we, we get this uh, report from people all around the world, you know. We have people telling us that sugar cane has helped them in their diabetic condition. In fact, there's actually doctors now that are prescribing people sugar cane juice as, helping, as a maintenance to help them to maintain their blood sugar levels. And so um, we will get to the test now and uh, we will see what is Eileen's fasting blood sugar this morning and then we'll test it later 15 minutes after she consumes the juice and see what is her her uh, blood sugar level at that time okay let's go to it let's go. okay we have Eileen here and we have our AccuCheck this is a very high quality um, blood glucose monitor and it's made by Roche company so uh, you can be assured that the results are good so we will take a small drop of her blood put it in the monitor and then we will see what is her fasting blood sugar this morning okay so now we're going to get her blood sugar here all right Okay, she has her blood there. Now she's gonna drop the the one drop in the middle of the green. Okay, so we put it. One. Okay. Now it's measuring her blood sugar. Let's get the, her blood sugar is 69, so that's pretty low. Okay, this is her fasting blood sugar. Eileen's blood sugar is 69. All right, how did that feel? Was that really painful? No? Okay. All right, so here's her blood sugar level is 69 fasting blood sugar okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to this machine and we're going to juice out the sugar cane and we're gonna get a cup for her and then she will ingest it and then we will see what is her blood sugar level okay we have I here and she is going to juice out uh, about 12 ounces of sugar cane juice and we'll put it uh, with ice, that's a 16 ounce cup, and so with the ice it'll be around 12 ounces, so go ahead and uh, juice out. This is our SS50 machine, this is our family machine, we've been using it for a long time, three years this machine has been used right here in our home. Okay, so she's peeling out the uh, sugar cane that is, or she's serving peeled sugar cane. It doesn't matter if you're using sugar cane with the skin on it or peeled. Here at the house in, in Asia, uh, the people, they like peeled sugar cane, but it's not a rule that you have to use uh, peeled sugar cane. Our machines work with peeled or unpeeled. So she's juicing out here. And you can see just how the, the machine would be very, um, very efficient. Look how, look how dry that is. Okay. See how dry the cane is. So. Okay, she's putting in short pieces. Okay, that should be enough there to fill up your glass. Okay, now here's Eileen's 
sugar cane juice that's around 12 ounces on ice you can put it on the table here okay so I you can take your first sip of the sugar cane juice all right drink the rest as you normally do I is a type 2 diabetic and she does not take any insulin she only drinks sugarcane juice twice a day and she's not required to take insulin and she attributes it to the sugarcane juice so uh, how are you feeling right now? okay and I feel full. You feel full, okay, that's normal. Sugarcane juice makes you feel full. Uh, how do you feel as far as your energy goes? My energy is okay, I don't feel dizzy and I'm not, I have enough energy. Uh, you, do you feel like, uh, do you feel the same as if you were eating a chocolate bar or do you feel different? Different. Different? Yeah. So if I eat the chocolate, I feel dizzy and weak. Okay. She says if she eats chocolate or something with white sugar in it, she feels dizzy and weak. But when you drink sugar cane juice, I feel full and energy. You I feel full energy. and strong energy. Energetic. Okay. Sugar cane juice contains complex carbohydrates. And the complex carbohydrates in sugarcane juice, they are metabolized in the liver, and so the body is slowly absorbing the sugar that is in sugarcane juice. So for diabetic people, in moderation, and remember this, in moderation, for many diabetic people, sugarcane juice is okay. So we're gonna wait five minutes, and then we're gonna take eyes blood sugar to see the effect on her blood sugar. So are you ready to have your finger poked again? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we over here put the blood sugar test kit. It's on our uh, sugar cane machine. That's our TT750D machine. And this is our test kit. Okay. So I, we're going to test your blood sugar again. This would be uh, around five minutes after she consumed the sugar cane juice. She consumed, she consumed the sugar cane juice in uh, just 12 minutes. She cons uh, consumed 12 ounces. So uh, here's the test strip right here. And our lancet that we will use for your, your test. Okay. So. Take your hand here. Okay, she's gonna get her drop of blood. You can see her blood there. And she's gonna drop it on the, the green part of the test strip. Okay. Okay, and we'll see what is her blood sugar. Okay, touch the green. Okay, it's measuring her blood sugar now. Okay, her blood sugar is 118. Okay, now for a diabetic, that is considered within a normal range. 118, you can get that. And I'll hold the camera here and let's show the time on the phone so that we can document this. Okay, it's 938. Okay, so her blood sugar was taken, uh, it was taken 18 minutes after the initial uh, drinking of the sugar cane juice. So 18 minutes after the sugar cane juice, her blood sugar is 118. So, how do you feel now? Okay. Okay. So, uh, would you recommend sugar cane juice for people that have diabetes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sugar cane juice is healthy for your diabetes. It's healthy for the diabetes. Yeah. That's what many people are saying and many doctors are saying these days. Uh, but 
do you, people uh, that are diabetic, do you agree that they should also talk to their doctor before they change their diet? Yeah. Okay, this is very important. That if you're a diabetic and you're watching this, you need to consult your physician before you go out and start consuming sugarcane juice. So this is uh, Eileen's experience with sugarcane juice. She is a type two diabetic and you can see that her experience with sugarcane juice is a good one and it's really truly helped her to maintain a good blood sugar level and she's been able to do her job normally and she has not had the really high up and downs where you know she's dizzy and can't work and things like that very rarely she gets that and when you do feel that way is it is it because you're abusing what you're eating yes okay so you want to confess <laughs> what some of the things that make you feel bad when i'm eating ice cream when you're eating ice cream yeah. and when anything else eating a lot of rice and a lot of rice okay so what would you recommend for diabetics besides sugarcane juice what else should they eat uh, you eat the Control your diet for diabetes. Control your diet for diabetes. But what yes. kind of things? What kind of things should diabetics eat? Like, like what? What kind of food should they eat? You should eat the healthy food. Healthy food with sugar cane juice. Sugar cane juice. With sugar cane juice. Okay. So, but what? What? What kind of foods? Like, for example, should they eat a lot of? Ampalaya, which is a vegetable that's yeah. not available in all countries, but so you're recommending vegetables, green, yeah. green leafy green, vegetables. Leafy vegetable is healthy. Okay, and uh, how much rice should they eat? Just one cup of rice. One cup of rice. How many times in a day? Sometimes I eat rice. Sometimes I eat three times, but I have control. Okay, so she eats rice uh, she controls how much she eats and she yeah. uses her um, she uses her feeling to control how much rice that she yeah. eats so uh, this is one of the things about being a diabetic is you'll learn through your activity level and you'll learn uh, through your what you're eating what makes you feel good and what makes you feel bad yeah. but uh, sugarcane juice uh, you'll give that a thumbs up okay all right did did we force you to make this video no okay okay she wanted to make this video because uh, sugar cane is helping her a lot and she wants to help other diabetics yeah. um, who are struggling with their blood sugar levels so uh, Eileen, her name is I. We call her I. We want to thank you so much for uh, you know doing this, and uh, we talked about this for a long time, but we haven't uh, really taken the time to do it. We have busy lives, all of us. So, anyways, uh, we wish you the best in your experience uh, as you continue on your journey with type two di diabetes, and uh, God bless you very much. Thank you, I.